if some member of our Dan Rather Reports team uh, was kidnapped, I'd be looking to negotiate for ransom. Paying ransom to terrorists as ISIS gets bold with its demand for our kidnapped Americans, folks like Dan Rather say they would rather pay. And some countries in Europe are forking over big cash to get their citizens back too. So should we? Plus, getting schooled by the illegals as millions of American kids head back to class, taxpayers will be picking up the tab for tens of thousands of illegal children getting a free public education. Just how much will that cost you? And then, the welfare states of America, as hardworking Americans celebrate Labor Day, Day weekend we're learning more than a third of us live in a household on the dole and we ain't talking social security folks time to cut these numbers down for everyone's welfare cashing in looking out for your money starts right now Hi, everyone. I'm Eric Bowling. Welcome to Cashing In. Our Cashing In crew this week, Wayne Rogers, Jonathan Honig, Michelle Fields, and Juan Williams. Welcome, everybody. ISIS becoming even more ruthless and now demanding a $6.5 million ransom for an American woman held captive. And you just heard Dan Rather say he'd rather pay, but nearly two-thirds of Americans disagree. Wayne, who's right, Dan Rather or just about everyone in the world? <laughs> I think everyone in the world, I, uh, the two-thirds I go with, yes. All you do when you do that is, in, is, is encourage them to do more kidnappings. Every time you pay, that's how they make money. They're taking ransom. You've got to do something about that. You have to just say to people, if you get caught, I'm terribly sorry. We're going to try, but we can't, we're not going to pay ransom. Remember, the Israelis went into Entebbe and got people out. That's what we have to do if you're going to tr rescue somebody. Go in and do it with force. Yeah, Michelle, uh, who comes up with the number? So they say they want six and a half million dollars for this unnamed female journalist that they're holding. They wanted $132 million for James Foley and they beheaded him anyway. I, this sounds like a really bad idea negotiating with terrorists. I agree. Look, when ISIS asks for money, you don't send money. You send troops. You send troops to destroy them and get back our people. We need to show these terrorists that when they kidnap an American, it does not result in monetary compensation. It results in swift retaliation. We are not going to subsidize, because that's what's happening, subsidize their atrocious evil acts by giving them money. There's a reason why al-Qaeda targets Europeans, why they kidnap Europeans all the time. It's because al-Qaeda knows that Europeans governments will pay the ransom. European governments have given al-Qaeda $125 million since 2008. They are basically giving them money to, get, to continue to be awful, evil people. Right. One, well, surely you can't um, condone negotiating with terrorists, I, I, I would hope, right, Juan? I don't. I, I wouldn't negotiate with terrorists, but let me just say that when it's personal, Eric, you know, then it becomes a different issue. And if someone in the corporation in our company, Dan Rather wasn't speaking universally there. He was talking about if someone on his team, on his network, who works for him was kidnapped. I'm not sure O'Reilly would pay to get me back, but, you know, I'm glad to hear that he cares about, you know, Dan cares about his people. We might pay. For, I, I, I pony up at least 10 bucks to get you back, Juan. But let me stay with you. For one but second. Let me just say, let me just say, I don't like Michelle's idea about sending troops in. That's right, going to cost but a stay, lot, too. Stay with me for a second here, Juan. When, a when, rescue when, mission? Hold on, hold on. When the, when the Obama administration traded five Gitmo terrorists, we, I think we have a picture of these five, for Sergeant Bergdahl, when they did that, didn't they, in fact, negotiate with the terrorists? We gave five terrorists yes. back to the bad guys. What's the difference if it's five guys or if it's $132 million, or in this case, $6.5 million? You're still negotiating negotiating one no that's a prisoner swap and that's a matter of What's making a, a, a calculation as to the value of these prisoners they were older prisoners Th they're not going back to battlefield uh, uh, we're able to right. monitor them so, no, no, all but, but, of well, those we're issues not, are what you're discussing no. we're not talking about price we're talking about the idea of negotiating with the terrorists exactly giving into their demands hold on hold the thought no jonathan let's talk about it a little bit so yeah, yeah, no yeah, occasion Eric, do we you, do this right no, you cannot negotiate with brutality. You can't negotiate with savages, Juan. I don't care how old they are. And paying ransom or engaging in these prisoner, prisoner swaps only encourages terrorism. It rewards them. And in fact, it morally sanctions these savages. And Wayne, you mentioned Entebbe with Israel. You know, the, is, the Islamist attacks against Israeli is, Israel have only gone up since 1993 when they started this whole prisoner swap business. And Eric, I agree with you. The Bo Bergdahl only inflames and encourages 
encourages the Muslim street to rise up against the right, U.S. Let me be a little provocative here. To pull up a picture of Aifa Siddiqui. Now, she's called Lady Al-Qaeda. She's a neurosurgeon, neuroscientist, I'm sorry, that we are holding. She's a terrorist. We've sentenced her to some 84 years, I believe. Wayne, so if we have this Lady uh, Al-Qaeda, wouldn't you, as a Let's say you're parent of, of Stephen Salt, Saltloff, the, the gentleman who was being held by, by ISIS. Would you do a one-to-one -one swap for this guy, for, for her? Absolutely. I don't think there's anything wrong with swapping. But, but if you're holding people for ransom, I, but I, you're I, rewarding for money. that. You're that's incentivizing that's them. That. It's, ex it's exactly the same thing. What's, that, what's the difference you're between swapping $10 million? That, dollars? Wayne. Exactly. No, you know, you guys are so blind on this. You've got to see there's a difference between making a calculated no. maneuver in order to get your uh, people uh, back. The Israelis no, they they always they bring their people guys, home. You, you, you threw it at Wayne. Now, Wayne, go ahead. You leaned into the camera. You were going to say something. What do, you, what do you have to say? I, I, I was until I was so rudely interrupted. <laughs> uh, I'm, saying, I'm saying that if you've got somebody and, and this person is valuable to you and you want to get them out, yes. Uh, swapping a, a prisoner for them is fine, but that, that's not negotiating with them. That's saying, okay, I no. want this person. You want that this person. That is that's negotiating. Fine. Right. 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 What are you talking let about? Let me finish, for God's Aren't sake. Aren't you a businessman? You shut up what is talking nonsense. What is the matter with you? Why do you have to talk all the time? Yeah. Listen, uh, let, uh, let uh, me whoa, finish. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Calm just down. Shut up. All right, guys, guys, guys. Okay, go ahead, Michelle, then Jonathan. Well, now that Wayne has put down the gun, what I'm trying to say is, is that is negotiating. When you are making that swap, you are negotiating with terrorists. You're incentivizing to continue to do this. Now they're going to seek out more Americans because they know when they get one that they have bargaining chips. That's what it is. John? No. Yeah, and that's the point. How to defeat militant Islam is war. Eric, we talked about it last week. It is total war. In fact, the last war this country won, we dropped two atomic bombs on civilian centers. So to say, well, we should negotiate with people to try to win a war against militant Islam is just asinine. Quick thought, Juan, before I go back no, to Wayne, who's very know, upset. The reality right is... All right, the reality is there are Geneva Conventions if you have state versus state in war, and there are the way you treat prisoners, there are prisoner swaps, that's okay. As Wayne explained to you, that's a matter of diplomacy and negotiation that's at a different level than paying Ne-negotiating. Yes, it's and negotiating. supporting their terrorist with, behavior. With killers, with you savages. You just said it. It's yeah. negotiating with terrorists. Go ahead, Wayne. Last thought, we got to go. <laughs> Well, it's not negotiating, but you're a moron yes, because is. you talk too much and you don't think through it. Anyway, prisoner swapping <laughs> oh, has been done God. for a number of years and for a number of generations. It is a legitimate way to deal with this. The and, best way, how of great, course, is how what great I is said it about no, it's not. where people go. How well how, how has it worked? <laughs> we were gonna, before we before the whole show goes off the rails, we're going to have to leave it there. I remember somewhere in the Bible it says, don't negotiate with the devil no matter what the cost is. We're going to have to leave it right there. You can continue the conversation right now on Twitter. Hashtag cashing in. Get this. Continues to be a beast on social media. Trending on Twitter, 31 weeks in a row, our view crew, that's you, are a force of nature in the American political debate. Lola Martinez says, just tweeted this actually, we cannot negotiate with terrorists. It will be open season on all Americans. If we do, send the SEALs in. Hashtag cash in. Coming up, as our kids head back to school, tens of thousands of illegals are joining them. And guess who's paying for it? The numbers are jaw-dropping.